I went for my annual mammogram. When they held me in the office, I knew there was an issue. I was diagnosed with cancer. It was discovered multiple sites, both breasts. I then went along to my breast surgeon. My husband was sitting with me and I said, I want to grow old and wrinkly with this man. So what do we have to do to do that? And she said, we should do a double mastectomy immediately. And that's what we went ahead and did within three weeks. Jane had the standard tissue expander implant breast reconstruction that's underneath the muscle. People do not realize that when a woman undergoes a mastectomy, the breasts afterward, even if you're reconstructed, can be numb and usually are numb. And the reason for that is the mastectomy removes all the tissue, including the nerves. We'd actually embarked on trying to have a family and found out that we were having difficulties. When our surrogate gave birth to our daughter, I remember taking her in my arms and putting her on my chest, but I couldn't, I couldn't feel her skin. I didn't know she was there unless I, I looked at her. With the implants, I found that it was more just a cosmetic approach. To the outside world, you had breasts, but to you there was zero sensation. I came to Dr. Chen and said, I really need an alternative to this. In Jane's case, I did a profunda artery perforator flap. That's where I take the skin and the fat from the upper inner thighs, and I use that to reconstruct the breasts. Now that the oxygen nerve graft is available, I use it on just about every natural tissue breast reconstruction. If I have a short nerve on the flap or a short nerve on the chest wall or both, which is usually the case, I can take this nerve graft and elongate that nerve so that just about everybody is a candidate for sensory restoration of the breast. Dr. Chen explained to me that with this nerve grafting process that she could do, that I would be able to potentially regain full sensation across the chest. I take the oxygen nerve graft and I'll put one end into the nerve connector where the flap was and I'll secure that with a suture. I'll put the other end into the nerve connector where the sensory nerve on the chest wall is and secure that with a suture. That will reconnect the uh, nerves on both sides to restore sensation to the breast. Nerves grow at a millimeter a day, so it's not like the next day you have suddenly full sensation, but you regain sensation over time. Since I've had the surgery weekly, there has been renewed sensation, and that, that is ongoing and has been quite miraculous. Last weekend I went swimming, and for the first time in six years, Sorry. I could, I could feel the water on my chest as I was swimming through the water. And just to feel normal again. When Jane told me today that she went swimming a couple weeks ago for the first time in six years, and she didn't want to leave the water because it was amazing to her that she could feel the water. You know, that was such a wonderful feeling for me to feel that I might have had something to do with helping her get there. And now to be able to reach out and hug my daughter and have her head rest on my chest and be able to feel her and feel her breath on my skin, that is the most precious thing in the world. Part of telling my story is to really encourage other women in my circumstances to be proactive, ask your surgeon, is it possible to do the nerve grafting? It's life changing to the patient and for just a short additional time in the OR changes someone's entire life. That's worth it to me.